Kieran, thanks for joining us. We've obviously got Cambridge, we'll get to that very soon, but your roundup of the transfer window. Yeah, it's um, it's nice for it to be done in some ways as the manager because you, you get a, a clear path ahead. Um, we're really happy with what we've done. You know, we've um, worked to a, to a plan really over the last 12 months of the type of players that we want to recruit. Um, we feel like we've added, you know, quality um, to the building. We've added good characters to the building. Um, really grateful again from the from the um, investment from the ownership group. You know, they've they've um, you know backed the the club and, and brought in really top young talent that can be a big uh, a big help to the team and a big asset to the football club. And um, you know, there's been a lot of hard work behind the scenes by Mark and the recruitment team and by the coaching staff and, and everyone involved in the process. So we're happy with what we've done. We're really happy with where the squad is at and um, in some ways glad that the window is now closed and it's uh, we've got the whole group here with, with everything focused towards the, the rest of the season. We had the excitement of FA Cup last week. We'll, we'll speak about that at another time, but now it's all focused on the league. We've got Cambridge and it's a big game as usual. Yeah, it is. Um, look, it's, you know... We're coming to you know the the busy the business time of the season and every game's important and every game's going to be labelled as a must win and um, you know that is the feeling within the camp but in reality we know that it's it's a game we have to focus on performances focus on doing the right things to give ourselves the best chance so it's another big game it's one we're looking forward to we've had a good training week um, coming off the back of a, a good result against Morecambe and of course the FA Cup in between and. Um, we're really focused and, and determined to go and get a, a result at Cambridge. On paper, they've not exactly had the best run of form, but you'll not be taking that lightly, will you? No, I think, look, it's every game is, is so different. The challenges are so unique. We know that when Ipswich are coming to to um, to anyone's stadium, it's it's a massive game for the club that we're facing and a big game for the team that we're facing, and they're, they're going to try and make it for as difficult for us as possible. Um, they brought some players in in the window as well. They recruited to their back line. They they looked much more solid last weekend against uh, against Lincoln. I'm sure Mark would have been happy with that from a defensive point of view. And um, we know that they're they're not going to roll over for us. They're going to try and make it as hard a game as possible, and it's going to be a big challenge. So we've got enough experience in this league now to know that you know for for us there's no easy games. Every game is unique. It all brings its own challenges, and, and we've got a good idea what those challenges will be, and we need to be ready for that on Saturday. We've seen Leaf and Wes miss out against Burnley. Is that anything to read into? No, it was it was minor um, issues, um, as we reported last week. Really, of course, we're not going to give you know too much away in terms of the team news, um, but you know it's it's been nothing major with them. They've missed a little bit of training um, over the last ten days since the Morecambe game, um, but both are now full training and give us a, a decision to make going into. Um, Cambridge about who's going to be fit to start, who's going to be fit for the for the squad, and who's going to just miss out. Of course, we've obviously got fourteen hundred and fifty fans travelling to Cambridge, but we've got two thousand at Portman Road for a beanbag. Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah, it's um, it's fantastic, really. Uh, the support in the last couple of games I loved, you know, the um, the FA Cup tie last weekend was fantastic. There's, you know, there's a lot of positivity about it. We know that, you know, as I said, the games are important. We're, um, we're in a crucial phase of the season, uh, but we know that the supporters are right behind us and, and that gives us a big push. It gives the players a big push. We we aren't just doing it for ourselves. There's a, there's a big, big motivation to do it for the supporters and, and we do everything in our power to, to make those supporters happy on Saturday. The youngsters in an FA Cup action tomorrow night in the Youth Cup. Of course, you probably won't be able to be there, but we'll have a we'll have it on in the hotel, I presume. Yeah, it's, it's a great tie for them. I know they played Liverpool um, a couple of years ago as well, and I know the, the players and the staff are really looking forward to it. Um, so it's a, it's a great tie for them to go and test themselves and, and see what they can do and, and hopefully get through the next round. So, um, no, it's a shame for us. It's when we've got an away game because, you know, the night before the game at the hotel is an important night for us in terms of team meetings and preparing the game. So it's a shame we won't be able to be there in person. But, yeah, the, the club are going to stream it and have it up in the, in the meeting room and, and the players and staff will watch it together and we'll be um, certainly supporting the, the lads.